At the Johnson Space Center in Houston, USA, ESA astronaut Christa Fugelsang is busy preparing for his second mission into space. His rigorous training regime spans many different facilities, each designed to replicate conditions on board the International Space Station. This 53-year-old Swedish physicist has already visited the ISS for real. In December 2006, he spent 13 days in space on board the shuttle Discovery whilst it was attached to the station. During this mission, Fugelsang made three spacewalks, known as extravehicular activities or EVAs. He spent a total of 18 hours and 14 minutes outside the station carrying out maintenance and construction tasks, focusing on the installation of a section of truss, which acts as the backbone of the ISS, as well as rewiring the power system. A last-minute spacewalk was also added to retract a stubborn solar panel. In all, a picture-perfect mission, demonstrating the level of expertise that Krista hopes to reach again. Whatever I did was the first time. Now the challenge is to kind of think of new things which can create interest in and show in more, very, more ways what it is to live and work and do experience in space. Back in Houston, Krista has had little time to appreciate the skyline of this Texan city, dotted with the oil refineries upon which its wealth has been built. Deep within the historical Johnson Space Center, Krista and his fellow astronauts busy themselves on the various simulators. They'll soon be launched on board the Space Shuttle Discovery for the two-week STS-128 mission. These crucial last weeks conclude the years of training that they've undertaken to prepare for the task ahead. During his second flight into space, Krista Fugelsang is scheduled to carry out many scientific experiments and will again have the privilege of walking in space. He'll help to remove and replace different items, including an 800 kilogram ammonia tank, as well as making preparations for the installation of a new node for the station. As part of the mission, the Discovery Shuttle will transport a piece of specialized kit called the Multipurpose Logistics Module, or MPLM, in its payload bay. This will carry science and storage racks to the station. In orbit, the MPLM will be transferred from the shuttle's cargo bay using a robotic arm and attached to the ISS. I will do two spacewalks, that's a plan at least. Uh, something are uh, completely new, we are bringing up uh, the module temporary to the space station. It's actually built in Europe called Leonardo. It's a multi-purpose logistics module and it will dock it to the space station while we're there. And I'm responsible for the docking mechanism, how we you kind know, of open the hatches to it. And inside we have many tons of uh, food, new experiments, things which the permanent crew in the space station needs to live there, six people for permanent and all this work to kind of get all those things from the Leonardo into the space station to the right places, that's my responsibility. So it's kind of, uh, it's a challenge and it's an interesting challenge. An astronaut's jobs are numerous and diverse and require hours of simulation on Earth using the different mock-ups installed in Houston. This ensures that they're well prepared when the time comes to carry out their work for real in weightless conditions. These simulators include the world's largest indoor swimming pool, the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory, where astronauts carry out mock EVAs in simulated microgravity conditions. In these images, John Olivas and Nicole Stott are about to train to remove the ammonia tank and retrieve experiments from the outside of the European Columbus Laboratory. For Christa Fugelsang, Working as a part of the ESA astronaut corps is a dream come true. I always had in mind if there's ever a chance to go to space, I wanted to go to space. And uh, suddenly there was a chance. It was in 1990, there was an ad in the newspaper, ESA's looking for astronauts. And so I said, well, I have to try. And uh, I got it. During the mission, Christo will also be meeting up with another ESA astronaut, Frank de Winner from Belgium, who was launched from Baikonur on the 27th of May. For the first time, the station will be occupied by a six-strong crew, which includes astronauts from four different space agencies, 
ESA, NASA, Roscosmos and the Canadian Space Agency. For now, Christa Fugelsang is staying focused on his training and concentrating on his role as a mission specialist. However, for him, space is much more than just a job. I've always been interested in space, and I just see in front of me how eventually people, humanity kind of moves out and just not only live in, on Earth, but in other bodies as well, and Mars, I guess, is the first time. But also, it's an adventure, and to be part of this post adventure, the, 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 the future for humankind. And finally, it's uh, research. We do research up there, and uh, my, my background, I'm a scientist. Christoph Fugelsang's upcoming mission will once more demonstrate Europe's important role in human spaceflight and exploration. In addition to working alongside international partners in orbit, ESA is now using its Columbus Laboratory permanently in space for science, technology, and education, with major benefits for life on Earth.